One year ago today, things in West changed forever. 15 people, including 12 first responders, were killed when the fertilizer plant there exploded. An incredible video shows that moment, the moment captured by Jeff Tabola and his son from inside their car. This video released for the first time just this week. The town continues to rebuild as it questions about that explosion, and those questions remain. Good morning. I'm Jessica Vesson for Yvonne Nava. And I'm Brian Mays. Today, the city of West will come together to remember the victims of that explosion one year ago. Organized Organizers are ready for a crowd of thousands to look back at the tragedy and look ahead to a bright future. KB's Tina Shively has been in West all morning. She has a behind the scenes look at what crews are doing to prepare in today's top story. Yeah, crews have been preparing for the city sponsored event ever since the mayor appointed the West 417 Forever Forward Committee back in January. We have about eight hours to go until the ceremony gets started here tonight. You can see people already setting up, working on the stage, on the audio, on the video, everyone chipping in in this small community to get the show up and running. And the program will kick off just after 7 tonight with a choir performance, prayers, songs, and words of comfort. At 7.51, there will be a minute of silence marking the exact time of the deadly explosion at the West Fertilizer Plant one year ago. Next will be a State of the City address by Mayor Tommy Mushka. Messages of hope and encouragement by church leaders and the president of nearby Baylor University. And also a video about rebuilding and recovery in West. Originally, organizers planned for a small event, but committee chair Benet Ayer says she started getting offers for donations that you, quote, just don't pass up. Video screens, sound systems, and musical performances all donated by people near and far. Ayer's family has been here for decades, so she says this kind of generosity came as no surprise. The spirit in this community and the unity here is something very special, but the love of all the people who want to adopt West as their hometown uh, makes a lot of things possible. Tonight's ceremony will have a somber tone, but also one of optimism. Ayers wants people to leave these fairgrounds tonight with the feeling that West has a bright future ahead. All indicators seem to show that. The city's mayor pro tem tells me construction on two new schools is set to start later this year, and the fire department is recruiting some new members as well. Five young people have joined the ranks recently at the firehouse where this memorial stands, one flag for each victim of the explosion. Now, Ayers says she doesn't know how many people to expect here tonight, but she is prepared for several thousands, all to remember the tragedy and to heal. Reporting live in West, Tina Shively, KV News Midday. Thank you, Tina. No amount of time can replace what some residents of West lost a year ago today. Kelly Pachowski lost her husband, Josh. He was one of the five West volunteer firefighters who died. Now, one year since his death, Kelly says she still hasn't completely accepted that he's gone. She says that even in the first moments following his death, she waited for him to come home. Kelly still has the helmet Josh is wearing the day he died and says seeing it and his pictures helps her heal. It helps me get through. It makes me, even though he's not here physically, seeing his beautiful face helps me through. My thing is, is why? Why did this happen in this town? Why did we have to lose 12 great guys? In the last year, Kelly has become more involved with the West Fire Department. She volunteers with the auxiliary, organizing t-shirt drives and fundraisers there. Today, also a very difficult day for first responders who survived that explosion. Dr. George Smith works with West EMS. Smith helped to rescue more than 120 seniors from a facility near the explosion. He often thinks back about that devastating day. There's no one moment. It was just all catastrophic from the millisecond that explosion went off. It still hurts. I lost a lot of people that I helped train, a lot of people I worked with almost on a daily basis. Such an emotional time. Now, since the explosion, West EMS has had a new state-of-the-art facility built and received new ambulances. 